everybody. We are starting Unit 14 of Foundations in Level 3. That's right. This is the last Foundations unit. Are you ready? I'm excited and proud of you. Let's start with a little bit of a warm-up. Let's look at our R controls. And I want you to pick out one and tell me all the sounds it makes. All right, and I also want us to look at our spelling options page. And this one's a great one to practice because at this point, we've learned just about all of these. So if you hear a sound in a word that says oi, here's the oi sound, you know the two spelling options. So let's do all the spelling options for long O. Repeat after me. O E to O. O, no, O. O, A, boat, O. That just paused to make me realize this is O dash E, so it's O dash E, home, O. All right, here we go. O, E, to, O. And O, W, snow, O. And I'm gonna hold this up here just for you to look through and see without those pictures. At this point, you don't always need those picture cues anymore. Can you picture in your head though, or know what most of these sounds are? Think about that. You should, and I bet you do. Okay, so we have a few more sounds to learn this week. The first one is T-U-R-E. Notice it's on a green card. That means it's a glued sound. And what you're looking at is a picture of somebody capturing a bug in a jar. So T-U-R-E, the picture is, Capture, T U R E actually says, sure, like, sure, I'd love to come to your house and hang out. Our other new one is a picture of a spatula, and the T U in spatula says, chew. So both of these have that C H sound when the T meets the U. So repeat after me T U spatula chew. T-U-R-E, capture, sure. All right, do you wanna to try to see some of these words? All right, let's try to read some. All right, so here is our T-U-R-E. I'm gonna put that right here, and I'm going to add some letters to the beginning. Probably not with the Sharpie. That would not be ideal for the whiteboard. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna add P-A-S to the beginning. Can you tap out this word? So we know this says sure. So we have put ass, pass, sure, pasture, pasture. Do you know what a pasture is? It's kind of like a big open grassy area where the sheep might be grazing in the pasture. And since it's a glued sound, what do you think we do? We box it in just like all the other glued sounds we've learned in our other year, years. All right, and I'll go ahead and write the T-U-R in there, T-U-R-E. And let's try another one. Let's try it with our other new glued sound. Um, I'm going to go ahead and box in my glued sound. Can't really see the box. <laughs> And let me add a syllable before. What does the syllable say? Act. What does T-U say? Like spatula, chew, act, chew. And here's our last syllable. All. Actual. Let me change this. This word says actual. Like the actual answer is two plus two is four. Actually. Okay, now how else would we mark this word actual? I want you to go get your whiteboard. And I want to get a better marker. And let's go ahead and write actual. 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 All right, how many syllables did we hear? Actual. Three. What's the first syllable? 
Well, the vowel's closed in, so we'll put that C, and the A makes its short sound. It says, ah, actual. And then we have our glued sound. Try a new marker again. So let's box in this second syllable, this glued sound. And it's considered an open syllable because the U is right here. So we'll put the O for open. And above it, we're going to mark what it sounds like. It sounds like chew. So we write CH. And we write the U with the two little dots. So even though it's a long U, it sounds like this, chew. And what about our last syllable? It's closed in, actual. Hmm, is there a schwa in this word? Yeah, that A, it doesn't say a, actual, it's actual. So the vowel changes a little bit. So we're gonna mark it with that schwa symbol, that upside down looking E, okay? There is often a schwa after the tu when it's al. So you'll see a lot of words that have this com this um, combination tu al, and you're going to hear that schwa a lot. Okay, let's see if you can read some more of these words. Go ahead and try to read these words by yourself. Okay, now read them with me. Feature, mature, culture, virtual, factual, statue, mixture, nature. They all have the chur. I'm going to go ahead and box them in. These ones all had the chur. And then we have the chew. And remember what we said when the all comes after, the al comes after it, the schwa sound, virtual. Factual, same thing. We have the TU. And then we have statue. Statue. That one's a little different because it just has the E at the end. Mixture. We have sure. And nature. If any of those were tricky for you, I want you to practice reading them again. Okay, and throughout the week, we are going to be working more on reading, writing, and marking these words. So, the last thing that you can do is look in your student notebook in the sound section. So, in the very beginning, in the additional sound page, so it's like the third page, but yeah, number three. These are all the additional sounds that you've learned over the last two years. And here it is, capture and spatula. And this is how it looks when you write out the sound. So that when you mark the sound, this is how you spell it. Chur with the upside down, the schwa, and um, chu with the dot dot. So if you would like to, you can go ahead and color those two in, or if not, you can just know that this is a place to look. Spoiler alert, there's only two more sounds that you'll be learning. Those will be for the next week. Okay, so the next part of today is that we have four new sound-alike words. You ready to see them? I actually previewed a few of these words yesterday, and some of you did pretty well with it. So now let's officially learn them. We have these two words. They both say stationary. What's different about the two words? Stay, shun, airy. That last syllable. This one's with an A-R-Y and this one's with an E-R-Y. So it's very close. Okay, let's start with the A-R-Y. This stationary with the A means that something stays completely still. Like freeze. And I usually think of a stationary bike that's like a bicycle at a gym. It, it doesn't move when you pedal. It stays in one place. So maybe a little trick we can think of is um, a bike. Maybe we can think of the letter A for a bike just sits there in the gym. And then the other stationary with the E is a fancy type of writing paper um, that you can kind of write letters on. So maybe we can remember E for envelope because you put up the stationery in an envelope and mail it to someone. All right. 
Let's go ahead and add these definitions to our student notebooks. So I'm going to need you to go to the back where it says sound alike and find the S, the two stationaries are on the same page. Looks like page 106 to me. And I will write them into my notebook and hold it up. Um, we said the one with the A is something saying completely still. And then we said that the one with the E is the fancy or fine writing paper. And I'm going to kind of underline the E and the A, and I'm going to write that little trick. A bike, and E is for envelope. Okay, I always like to write little tricks to help me. So why don't you pause the screen right here? There we go. And you can copy down those two definitions. Stationary, a stationary bike. Stationary, envelope for paper. Okay. All right, pause until you have that completed. And now that you're back, we do have two other sound alikes to talk about today. Here's the pairs, eight and eight. These ones look very different. We have vowel consonant E, the simple one. This is like I ate an apple. And what is this kind of eight? Yeah, it's the number eight. So these are going to be on different pages since they start with different letters. Why don't we first go to the page with the A and let's write swallowed food. If you ate something, you swallowed food. All right, there it is. Copy that in. Pause until you have that eight. And then let's go to the E and find the other eight, like the number. And you can go ahead and just write the number eight or the number after seven, whichever definition you like better. Okay, my friends. So you should have all four words entered in. And we're going to stop end with practicing these. So go ahead and get out your whiteboard. And I would like to know which one means, which one am I doing from this sentence? I ate a huge dinner last night. Go ahead and write it on your whiteboard. Which one? Make sure you spell it correctly. There's no reason not to. The answers are right here. There it is. Spell it out loud with me. A T E. Eight. Okay, next one to write. Here's my sentence. I bought some new stationery at the store. I bought some new stationery at the store. You should have written this one with the E for envelope. Let's spell it all together. S T A T I. O N E R Y, stationary. Okay, my friends, let's try another. Erase your whiteboard if you need to. I have $8 in my wallet. Go ahead, write it down. Which eight is that? Spell it out loud E I G H T, eight. And last task for today. Um, I want everyone in their seats and remaining stationary. Which stationary is that? If I want you to just stay in your seat and be stationary. Write it down. Spell it correctly. It's this one. Spell it out loud with me. S-T-A-T-I-O-N-A. R-Y, stationary. Okay, great job, everybody. Go ahead, erase your whiteboards and put it away. You are done for today.